the ale trail, water trails, the bourbon trail, all great times. But today we're talking about that magic little bean. We're talking about black medicine as the Native Americans called it. Today we are talking coffee trail. What's up everyone, Andy Howe here, local real estate agent and coffee fanboy coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. And today we are talking the Columbus Coffee Trail. Be sure, stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm gonna give you my top five stops. Before we get into it though, reach down, hit that subscribe button. We've been making videos all about Columbus, what it's like to live here, the cool things that are happening so you don't miss a video. So you've heard me talk about libations on the Columbus Ale Trail here, but if coffee is your drug of choice, this is the video for you. Back in 2014 on National Coffee Day, Experience Columbus launched the coffee trail here in Columbus. And so here's the skinny. To be included in part of this coffee trail, there's a couple criteria. You have to be local and independent. You've gotta be inside the 270 outer belt. You've gotta be open five days a week. Most importantly, you gotta have ethically sourced coffee and offer a full menu of coffee beverages. So that's right, Starbucks, you know, we love you, I love you, but no national brands allowed. And you know, kind of think about this as a penalty to you, Starbucks, for convincing everybody it was a great idea to start their day as off with a, basically a milkshake, shame on you. So currently there are 21 locations here in 2021 to complete the coffee trail. 16 of those are unique locations. A couple of them have multiple locations, Crimson Cup, Stoves, and some other ones. But here's the deal. You go to any four participating coffee shops, coffee roasters on the coffee trail here, and that's gonna qualify you for a, a free t-shirt. So you just go down to Experience Columbus, either at the convention center or their location at the arena district, and you can pick up your t-shirt. Somebody's impatient, they haven't had their coffee yet apparently. So if you hit up all of them, all 21, you can actually get a little tumbler, a travel mug that's super cool. Whatever you do, be sure to share your journey using the hashtag CBUSCoffee. Chances are you're not gonna be able to hit up all these 21 different coffee shops if you're here for a couple days, maybe you're visiting out of town or you're just looking to make a weekend of it. So here are my top five stops. And I wanted to start with Stoffs in German Village. This place is so awesome. They've got great outdoor seating. They get great coffee, but great outdoor seating. So grab a cup of joe, sit at their outdoor seating or take a walk through the beautiful Schiller Park. Before you leave German Village, be sure to stop at Winans. Now, if you're not quite ready for your second cup of coffee, which they have delicious coffee, grab one of their uh, awesome desserts. They make these really great chocolates, and even if you're not gonna eat one, at least look at them. They're, they're beautiful. Um, next stop is going to be One Line Coffee Shop in the Short North. And the moment you step in, not only this one, but any of the One Line shops, these places just ooze cool. They've got several different um, ways they can make your coffee, interesting things, probably more um, sophisticated than my taste buds, but that's, but that's cool, I'm a simple black coffee guy. But uh, go there, check it out. The most important thing about them is they are super hip to tracing the origins of where they're getting their beans. So they're gonna uh, be really diligent about tracing uh, the coffee beans back to a specific mill, a uh, specific cooperative, or a specific farmer. And that's, that's really cool. Um, next up is actually the shop that's right behind us right now, Fox in the Snow Coffee here on uh, 4th Street in Italian Village. This uh, is located right in a renovated garage. Super cool, they've got great coffees here, uh, rustic bakery items. Right now, they're not allowing a lot of people to sit here because of COVID and everything. Um, but when they do, I held a lot of business meetings here and I encourage you to come check it out. Next up is Bottoms Up Coffee here in Franklinton. If you're driving down a Broad Street, this is a great little coffee shop right here though, Bottoms Up Coffee right there. You absolutely cannot miss this place. Your eyes are automatically going to be drawn to the upside down sign. Uh, but that's Bottoms Up Coffee. So it's a shared coffee shop and co-work space. Um, it's a great place. 
to stop in, get a delicious cup of coffee. And one of the things that's super cool about this place, they have a big effort of giving back to the community. They've donated like 24,000 diapers to the, the local community. So who doesn't like that? You know, this whole ex, uh, experience, you know, experience Columbus efforts and the coffee trail, the ale trail is a great example of what Columbus does to pump up their local businesses, to support their local businesses. A few weeks ago, somebody in one of the YouTube com comments asked me, what is Columbus like for an entrepreneur, for somebody that's looking to start a business? This is a perfect example of, you know, Columbus supporting their local entrepreneurs. I love it. Uh, who doesn't love supporting local businesses? So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite uh, coffee shop here is in Columbus. Let me know if I, I, I missed one of my top five that you think should be in the top five. Uh, but most of all, thanks for taking your time to watch this video. Uh, give us a like if you liked it. Uh, drop a comment below. And if you have any questions about Columbus, not just coffee, but anything, reach out. Uh, shoot me an email. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.